So this is my top tip of the week. So I've got um, my mug full of tea. I do like my tea. I do like coffee too, I have to say. Um, I know there are going to be times when you are too ill to come outside or you're in hospital. I fully acknowledge that and I've been there myself several times. But when you are in a position to come outside or even when your chronic conditions have stabilised to a point where you're living an almost normal life again, and our normal actually is very different to normal normal, always make time every day to come outside for at least 10 minutes and just sit there and breathe and listen and feel the wind against your face, the rain against your face, the sun against your face. But always make time to do that. It's really, really important. And take the time to look at the little stuff, like the little flowers, how ornate and perfectly complicated they are. Look up at the sky at night, look at the planets, the stars, our Milky Way galaxy. When there's a meteor shower, wake up in the middle of the night to watch it. To me, taking that time out is so, so good for my mind. And it makes me focus on the bigger picture. And I think the thing is, when we're chronically ill, it can be very, very hard sometimes to not look down all the time or to look ahead. But what we definitely don't do, I think very well, when we're really suffering, is look up. And there's a whole world above us. And, and that's what I try and install with Muddy Care, is that up there um, is a whole new world, that we just need a little bit of help and support to get there. But we can get there. Our futures are still extremely bright. They are probably on a totally different path than what we first anticipated. But they are extremely bright. And taking the time every day just to sit outside helps me come to terms with how my life has changed direction. I am so, so grateful for all the small stuff in my life and gratitude and appreciation is so, so important. But this, going outside every day, it allows us to focus on the present and the better we can focus on the present, then the better our health and well-being will be because we will give more energy to the present. And if we can give more energy to the present, then it's highly likely that tomorrow will be a step forwards and the next day after that will be a step forwards and so on. So being in the present is really, really so important. We've got a whole playground outside that allows us to do that really, really 